Candy Vin, the gadget god, doing another unboxing today, this time of the MacBook Air. Now this is actually one of their newest models. The model number is, where is it? Oh, it's upside down. Model number is MD232LL-A, and this is the 13.3, 1 1.8 gigahertz, 4 gigabytes of RAM, 256 gigabytes of flash storage. Um, so this is the deluxe version of this model. Let's go ahead and pull open the top. If you look at the top here, it's got this foam padding so that your laptop doesn't get scraped up. This is always the trickiest part. Gentle, gentle Ben, the bear. All right, here we go. Um, so we pulled it out. Um, I'll show you all the ports and then the inside of the computer in one second. Let me just first show you. Um, I already opened this actually, so this is where the charger would be, and this is the actual charger. I'll compare this to the MacBook Pro charger in one second because there are some key differences. So um, more on the differences in chargers in a second, but you have the extension cable. Um, this is where the brick was. This little piece of plastic held the cord together. And then you got your little pamphlet full of uh, cool stuff. I'm just kidding. There's nothing cool in that pamphlet. So, the coup de grace. The MacBook Air. You open it up. Got your sweet tissue paper in there. Let me get that out of the way. Let's get a closer look at this thin beast of might. Swing it open. Oh, it's so handsome, it's so studly. Got your full-size trackpad, and this trackpad is actually bigger than the trackpad on most MacBook Pros and MacBook Airs. Um, it's hard to tell, but it's ginormous, it's huge. Um, let me show you the ports, too, before we get too in detail on the inside. On this side, you can see it's so thin, it's so thin, I think I'm falling in love. Got your headphone port right here. This is a microphone. Let me refocus the camera real quick got your USB 3.0 and this is your charging port um, I'll mention now the differences with these chargers and the MacBook Pro and other previous MacBook Airs is they're thinner now this is a different charger uh, more on that in one second let me just show you this side too Thunderbolt port another USB 3.0 and the SD card slot and that's it um, in here underneath when you open it are the speakers that's why when you open this thin yet muscular stud, you don't see any speakers on the side because the speaker's actually in here. Um, what web page is that? Is that the Candy Vin, the Gadget God? Wonderful. Let me actually focus in on the uh, keyboard so you can see it a little better. Um, but real quick, the differences in the chargers from last year's model. Here is last year's model. Um, actually, this is the MacBook Pro charger, so you can see there's a big size difference. MacBook Air charger, um, either one can charge either laptop, but the MacBook Airs come with smaller power blocks. Um, so there's that, and then also, this is the older MacBook Pro and MacBook Air charging end. This is the newer one. You can't really see much of a difference there, but there you can see it a little better. This one, the new one, is thinner, which means none of your old chargers, which have worked for all the MacBook Pros, all the MacBooks, all the MacBook Airs, it no longer works. Now you need to get a new one. It's kind of like the lightning cable for the new iPhones and iPads. You now have a thinner one. Still works exactly the same way, but it's thinner, so they can make the computer thinner. But I hate that because now I have to get all new chargers. Um, all right, enough about the charger. Let's talk about the computer. This is 256 gigabytes of flash, solid state hard drive, meaning it gives you this wonderful instant on. You shut it down, you open it up, bam, I'm right back in as if I had never put the computer to sleep. So super quick waking up. On the front, it's got the FaceTime HD camera. You can also see here, this little logo, that is the airtime. So this computer is new enough, let me pick it up a little more, this computer is so new that you can do um, AirPlay mirroring on your Apple TV so I can show my lap my laptop desktop on my HD TV. I believe you need at least a 2012. Um, don't murder me in the comments if you can use a 2011, but I believe you need at least a 2012 
MacBook Pro or Air to do AirPlay mirroring from the desktop to your TV. So, bam, we got it, baby. Gadget God. Um, and then let's just get in here. I want to show you the differences in keys. So previous ones, we had the uh, volume over here. There was like a physical hardware button. Now it's a little key button. And then you also got your mission control um, and launch pad and things like that. Backlit keyboard, the original um, MacBook Air, and I believe the second generation MacBook Air did not have backlit keyboard. We got it. We got that backlight. Um, any questions or comments, please. I love it when you give me questions and comments. I'll do my best to get to all of them. If not, um, I wouldn't trust as many people answering the questions if they're not me, but hey, we're all going to be gadget gods one day. So um, feel free to write any questions or comments. Like the video. If you watched it, that always helps increase my visibility. You know, I'm trying to be the gadget god. Can't do it without you guys. So um, as always, thanks for watching. Got some new toys. Hope you like them. Put your questions or comments below. As always, fellas and ladies and babies, have a great day. Thanks for watching The Gadget God.